Hi, this is Erin from Bridgeville and South Fayette Libraries, and today we are going to make chocolate dipped cookies. I got the recipe for this from a library book called Christmas Cookie Swap. The library has a lot of really great cooking and baking books, both in print and ebook format. So let's take a look at what we'll need for this recipe. I've started out here with my butter. I put the one cup butter in my bowl here. And what I've done is I've taken my mixer and just mixed it on medium speed until the butter's nice and creamy. So now I'm ready to add my half cup powdered sugar. And I'm just gonna add it in here. And then I'm gonna turn my mixer back on, beat it well back on medium speed until everything is nice and combined. And then we'll look at adding our next ingredients, which is the orange. So I'll check back in. So my powdered sugar is nice and combined and I am now ready to add my orange rind and my orange extract. So I have my one teaspoon of grated orange rind and then I'm going to add one teaspoon of orange extract as well. So I have a nice solid orange flavor in that dough there. And I forgot to say before, you wanna make sure that you're using powdered sugar and not regular sugar, because if you substitute, you're going to end up with a very different taste and texture. So make sure you use your powdered sugar for this. So I'm gonna blend this all together and then we'll be on to adding flour and having an actual dough. So I'll be back in a moment. So I am ready to add my flour and I'm going to just add it gradually, just a little bit at a time and beat after each addition of flour and I'm still beating on that medium speed and once both cups of flour are added I'm going to cover my dough in maybe some plastic wrap or wax paper and chill it in the fridge for one hour and then from there we're going to come back and work with it a little bit more so I'm going to start adding my flour here and then go on to chilling that dough. So I have my dough, it's chilled for an hour. I divided it in half and I like to work with just a little bit of dough at a time because all that butter in there makes it sticky. And I'm going to divide this into just enough to make a little log. So I'm going to roll that out and it should be about two and a half inches long and a quarter inch. So that looks kind of good to me. Take a little off there. So roll and then I'm going to take that and put it on an ungreased cookie sheet. And I'm just gonna keep going with all the rest of my dough. And when I'm ready, I will bake that at 350 for 12 minutes or until I see that it's lightly golden. I'm going to cool it on the baking sheet for three minutes and then transfer them to my cooling racks. I recommend covering your racks in wax paper because in the next step, when we go to dip our cookies in the chocolate, if you have your racks covered in wax paper, then you won't have to go back and chip all of that dried chocolate off of your cooling racks. Just a tip. So I'm going to keep rolling my cookies out and then I'll check back once they've all baked. My cookies are all cooled now, 
and I have my chocolate here my chocolate chips that I have in my heat proof bowl I've melted them in the microwave I put them in for a minute and then I stirred halfway through to make sure all of the chocolate chips melted so now I'm ready to begin decorating my cookies I'm going to take a cookie dip the end in the chocolate and then I'm going to just sprinkle some of my coconut on the end and then it's ready if you are not a fan of coconut what you can do is you can substitute some orange rind so same thing you dip it in the chocolate and then just put a little orange rind on there instead of the coconut so I'm going to keep decorating but that's all for making the cookies Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the cookies and have a great day everyone.